Okay, welcome to well-known Fairford beauty spot, the Cascades, which is where we've come this morning. It's a nice overcast morning, and as you may have worked out by now, I love it when it's overcast. And the clue being in the name of the Cascades and the background noise I'm sure you can hear at the moment, uh, it's all about water. It's actually, it's a flood um, sort of water control system for the coal further down. But I happen to know it's really, really interesting to photograph with. I love running water, as you probably worked out. And hopefully, at the moment, a lot of water coming down, so might be able to get some nice blurry water. Some of those nice, slightly unwelcoming landscapes that I specialise in. It's not too flooded, though there's quite a lot of water around all over the place. But, should be good. So, sit back and enjoy what I hope will be a fairly interesting bit of photography here, upstream from Fairford, on the Colne Valley, at the Cascades. Well, I really, really couldn't resist the tree coming down across the water. So, let's go and shoot this. The astute among you may have noticed that the background view here is always the same. That's because I found a particularly impressive tree to gorilla pod this to when I'm doing the pieces to camera. Uh, it's just the right size and it's being held firm as a rock. So I took several of that with and without a polarizer, under and overexposed. I think it's going to be one stop underexposed with the circular polarizer that wins. But hopefully about now you should see the image. Yep, this is indeed a different tree. Don't say I don't give you any variety. So, time I think to try and shoot the water coming over the cascades. And yes, I know it's hackneyed, but I want to go for a nice slow shutter speed, try and get some nice blurriness. So I'm going to try shooting that first of all with a polarizing filter, and then I'm going to put an ND filter on it and see how we go with that. And yet another tree. Don't say I don't spoil you with choice and variety. Um, so that's the ND grad shot. Had a bit of fun there when I discovered that eh, obviously the thread on my cheap filter holder isn't quite as well engineered um, as I would like. I mean, if anyone from Lee happens to be watching this video and wants to send me a set, then hit me up. I'd be more than happy to try them. But hopefully we'll get some nice blurry sea on, not sea, what am I talking about? The upper coln is not maritime. Uh, we'll get some nice blurry water coming over the fall there. It would have been nice to get the wooden bridge in as well, but there's a tree which I just can't work with. This gorilla pod is, is actually, it's the bee's knees for tree-based tripoding. Hang on, look, I'm just going to take you off it just so you can have a look. Hold on. I mean, you'd be sunk if you were sort of photographing an open downland with this, but I've got to be honest, for someone who spends as much time in woodland as I do, it's a heck of a lot smaller and lighter than carrying a second full tripod. Anyway, the huge rushing noise that you can hear in the background of this video is another slightly bigger cascade, which has got quite a nice dead tree sticking out through it. So I'm going to try and get this one next.
Okay, so anybody who's seen the most recent Nick Carver and Andalusia video will know why I didn't attempt to film myself clambering down there carrying the tripod. Because, frankly, it was just a bit too hairy. Okay, well, as you can guess, I didn't fall in. Uh, but I did notice from up on the bridge quite a nice view on some tree roots. So let's take a picture of that one and that'll probably be our last one for now. Okay, that's my lot here at the Cascades. Thank you for coming along and joining me for this photo shoot. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, as always, I think it's time to go home, get the kettle on, have some coffee, and maybe shoot a bit more B-roll. Okay, doke see you next week.